guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because I love filming videos where I get to talk about things I've been obsessing over because it kind of feels like I'm talking to one of my best friends and you guys are all my friends. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know if you're going to try any of these things out. I really hope you learn about something new today. I'm really happy because I think it is officially fall, sort of. I went to Bath & Body Works today and I got some fall candles. I currently have leaves burning and that is one of my all-time favorite candle scents. So I'm just really happy. Also, drinking some passion tea out of this cute little mug with a freaking pig on it. Like, uh, does it get better than that? No. Grab a snack, grab a beverage, and let's just get into this favorites video. Okay. So we're gonna start with beauty related things. The first item I wanna talk about today is something that basically saved my skin all summer and it is a sun protector or sunscreen, but it is by the brand May Love. And they're actually a PETA certified cruelty-free brand, which is amazing. I try to buy as many cruelty-free products as possible. This has SPF 30, which is great and I, Love that it doesn't have an overpowering scent to it like most sunscreens do. It's just very like, I don't know, like almost fragrance free. I just put it on right after my daily moisturizer and my skin has not been sunburnt since. I also have a coupon code for you guys, so I will put it on the screen right here. Okay, the next beauty related thing I want to talk about are my first set of eyelash extensions. So. I finally decided to try it out, even though a lot of people say that they rip out your real lashes, whatever. I wanted to experience them for myself and actually about a month ago I got a lash perm or like a lash lift, which is basically where they, um, I don't know what they do honestly, but it makes your lashes stay curled because my problem with my lashes has always been that they go straight down. They don't curl at all. They would take forever to curl, even with a lash curler. And then when I would put mascara on, they would uncurl. So it was just a struggle. So far, I haven't noticed any like of my real lashes falling out. And if they have, it's because that's what's supposed to happen is your fake lashes come out when your old lashes shed and then you grow in new ones. That's what I've been told by like actual lash artists. So. I think that's what everybody is like referring to when they say your old lashes fall out. But I got my lashes done at the Blink Bar in West Hollywood. I know they have a few different locations around LA and I got them done by Courtney and she was amazing. I was so happy with the results and I probably will go back to get them filled just because they make your life so much easier. You don't have to wake up early and like I don't have to spend so long like trying to get my lashes to curl and look good. Moving on to fashion related things that I've been obsessed with. I basically only have like two things, but I've been loving maxi dresses. They obviously fit in my bohemian style, so they're very comfortable, flowy, they make me feel like I can run in a field of weeds. So maxi dresses, I've been wearing a ton lately. I'll put in some Instagrams here. Self plug, yes, go follow me on Instagram. Another favorite of mine, the color mustard yellow. Repping it today, just got this sweater at Target for like $22, best purchase of my life. It's a great color, I think it complements like every skin tone. The lighting is changing because the light is reflecting off of one of these really tall buildings and it's coming in here, kind of blinding me, but I kind of like this lighting. Sorry it just changed, but I'm vibing with it. I have had a playlist that I've been accumulating this whole summer and you guys have to go check it out. I'm about to start my fall one, but there are some songs that you do not want to miss out on on this playlist from the summer because Wow. So um, I'm just gonna play a few of them, go follow this playlist. I don't know if I'll be adding to it as much, because I'll probably be adding to my fall one, but there's a lot of good songs on here still. You don't want to miss out. My Spotify is just my name, Erica Canchola. That's how you can find me.
swallow I'm drowning up my sorrows Those are all the songs I'm going to share today because there's probably over a hundred songs on that playlist. So go check it out, link below. I've also been loving the cardio playlist that Spotify like made. Whenever I'm at the gym, that is my go-to playlist to work out to because all the songs are really like upbeat and they keep you motivated and pumped up while you're working out. So check that playlist out as well. The book I've been loving lately is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Oh my gosh, you guys, this book is life-changing. When I do get a chance to read, I pick up this book and it just really like reminds you that we should all be living in the moment and that pain does not have to be something we constantly are clinging to. It's really like about awareness and being in the present moment and that's something that I want to get better at. So this book, 10 out of 10 recommend. Kind of following up with the topic of like awareness and being in the now. I've been getting into meditating again. I used to do it a lot about a year ago and then I kind of just stopped and made the excuse that I don't have time and blah blah blah. No, <laughs> you do have time because also time is like an illusion. Like what, how is that even an excuse? So yeah, <laughs> point is, I've been meditating more and I really like to do guided meditations and for those of you who claim you don't have time like I do, I've got you covered because on Spotify there's like a podcast every week called the Meditation Minis where you can go and do like 5 to 10 minute meditations. So easy to do like in the morning right after you wake up or like after you eat breakfast or at night before you go to bed. Love those. Um, I'll have a link to it if I can. I haven't even been going in the order because you don't really have to. You can pick whatever guided meditation you want to do for that day. I just choose mine depending on like my mood or like what I'm going through at the time and it's incredibly helpful and it, you just feel like so much better after. You just feel refreshed, you feel at peace. Another random thing I've been loving is waking up early. I love to wake up like at 6.30 a.m. on the days that I have off of work and I just love to be like productive throughout the whole day. I will take like a power nap sometime in like the middle of the day just because I don't want to be like super tired and have to fall asleep like at 8 o'clock. I'm such a morning person so it's a great thing for me. Love being productive. Last but certainly not least, I'm going to talk about the things I've been watching on the television. I don't watch TV that much, but the show I do keep up with is Bachelor in Paradise, and it actually just ended last week, but I don't know what it is about the shows like The Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. I'm obsessed. I don't know how I felt about this season. It kind of like went by really fast and the people weren't that great. Next, I watched two movies in the movie theater. So I watched Girls Trip. So funny. One of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. Ah, I just, it's so funny. Like, please go watch that movie if you haven't yet. Also, last weekend, I went and saw the movie It, um, the Stephen King movie that we've all been waiting for. I remember watching the original one so long ago, well, when I was like, I don't know, seven years old, and I was so scared of it at the time. That was like my biggest fear, like clowns at the time. But like since then, I haven't really been afraid of clowns, like they just don't scare me. It really was like such a well done movie. I think it was great. I think it was worth 
the like 22 year wait or however long it was. It didn't really scare me, although there were a few jump scares. But other than that, it was just a good movie that I highly recommend people watch. So that is basically it for all the things that I've been loving lately. Also, I've been loving vlogging, so go subscribe to my vlog channel if you aren't already. I've been trying to do like weekly vlogs, so go and check it out. Link will be down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. All my social media links will be in the description box as always, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.